All right, guys, IWA 2018, and we're at the Lonex booth looking at their products and got some kind of cool stuff going here that I haven't seen. I'm gonna walk you through the guns and I'm gonna show you some of the internals, which is the cool part and the way things work. So first off, we're looking at Lonex. This is gonna be their metal, their more premium line right here. I'm gonna get you a little closer so you can see it. This is what you're probably familiar with when you see Lonex products. Everything you see here has a quick change spring system built into it so you can access it through the buffer tube, through the back. And I'm gonna show you that in a second. It's not the kind where you have to take the gun apart. You don't even have to take the buffer tube off. This is probably one of the easiest to use quick change spring systems, but it has some options you can add to it, which is what makes it super cool. So, you know, that's your, your good standard M4. This is all your key mod stuff right here. So full key mod lineup. Moving over here, you got some of the classics on this. Uh, the quick change spring are the ones, anything with the buffer tube, without, they're not gonna have that. So any of those, believe it or not, these little guys right here have a quick change spring in the back. You just pop that little retractable stock back a little bit and you can do the quick change spring from inside on those. It's, it works the same way. Those you can do toolless. The other one actually requires just one little Allen key to get to it. So we have all that, like I said, the classic M4s, standard M4s. These are the polymer ones over here. So you got polymer bodies. Those were metal ones I just showed you a second ago. Also, something I didn't know they had were AKs. These are gonna be your standard AKs, the top three. They don't have a quick change system on it uh, through the back and all that. Then these bottom two, these tactical looking ones, do through that buffer tube and they're wired to the rear on these. So you actually have the batteries that go on the left and the right side of the crane stock. The actual buffer tube is full of the system I'm gonna show you right now. So moving on this way, this is the system. These are the quick change spring systems. So QSCG is what we're looking at here. <clears throat> and these have the optional recoil kit. So I'm gonna get you a little closer. I'm gonna move this camera over. And we're gonna talk about these a little more intimately. So, right here, let me get you in focus. Because nobody wants it out of focus. This is it. That's your cap. You're gonna be able to take it off. It takes an Allen key, a rather large one right there. You unscrew the back and that is your quick change spring. You'll be able to access it and pull it out. But inside of this one here, you're looking at, hang on, back out of focus again. It's a magic camera. So on this one, you have a recoil system. It's an optional recoil system in it. It's a kit. So you get this kit. I'm going to show you the kit. Right there, that's the kit. So you have the end cap for it, which is the red cap. This is the recoil piece here, and that's the quick change spring portion that's attached all one piece. Normally, the quick change spring is just a long tube in there without that extra weight. This extra weight is the recoil system on it. So that red cap, there's also an orange cap, and I'm gonna talk about that orange cap in a moment, because that's a different system. So, the way this works is it has kick, and I'm talking some pretty darn good kick. It's a reinforced system, so on this one, you're gonna, the kit's gonna be um, the actual, the, what you saw there, the weight. Um, you'll need a little bit of uh, a better motor that comes with it, I think it's their A3 Plus. Usually the guns are coming with the A1, Lonex A1 motors. If you guys also don't know, Lonex makes probably some, one of the best internals like when it comes to strength. Um, the gear set on these are already upgraded to handle this extra stress. So you have different gear sets. You have one series of gear sets for their normal stuff. Any of the recoil system or their, their quick change spring systems have the next series. Then the third one I'll show you here in a second, and you're gonna see why, has a third tier of gear set on it that is just off the charts on the strength because of what it is. So on this one, I've got the AK. I'm gonna show you the AK here, because I think this is one of the cool ones. M4 works the same way. You got the buffer tube, batteries in this. This is full auto, so let's watch the kick on this guy. That's pretty good rate of fire for it, and it's got a little kick. If you guys saw there, it's got a, a pretty decent kick. It's not like weak. I mean, it's that mass of metal in the back here, this big weight moving back and forth. They've got it cut away to show you. Um, again, like I said, you gotta upgrade the internals. It's gonna put a little more stress on it. That's why the internals are pre-upgraded on that to handle that system. So all you wanna do, if you don't want it, don't add the upgrade kit for the recoil. The internals are still those beefy internals. But if you do want the upgrade kit, you're ready for it, you buy the kit for the recoil, you can add it, or if you get bored with it, you can take it away. Then there's the another one. This one is the beast. This is their full hard kick version of it. I think it's the BAW is the, what it's called. I'm gonna move the battery over because I've only got one hand. They've only got one battery here to show it. This is the hardest kick I have ever felt in an airsoft gun. These again, this system is uh, built as is. You're gonna pick this thing up 
and it is already ready to go. If you notice, the weight in the back is a little shorter. It has a longer travel and it has a spring kind of set up in the back, a counterbalance spring there. I don't know if you guys can see in that hole cut out there, a counterbalance spring toward the orange cap. Orange cap is the kick on this one. This is it. Still quick change spring system, but watch the kick on this beast. Now watch, watch this, full auto. That is some crazy, crazy kick on an airsoft gun. I mean, you saw that thing was just going like crazy. Now that's standard. I mean, that's, that's the way that thing is built. Um, the internals, like I said, are the top of top tier. Now, when you're doing the recoil kit, when you add it to either the M4 body and this, any of the quick change spring systems they have, you can add these kits to it uh, as an upgrade they will drain your battery uh, quicker. That's just natural. You're moving a big chunk of metal, so your battery life is going to decline a little bit, but you're trading that off for that heavy weight. So make sure to bring a couple extra batteries. Definitely 11.1s uh, LiPos are required. That was that 11.1, so you heard the same rate of fire on the AK, and then the same rate of fire on this one, that's the same battery. That's also a higher torque motor and uh, a little bit different setup there to, you know, obviously in a bigger chunk of weight to travel back there for that heavier kick. So guys, gals, that that is what you got here at the Lonex booth. All of their cool new stuff, especially that super hard kick system. I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. I am all ears. And until next video, guys, here from IWA 2018, go out, play some airsoft, have some fun, mash the sub button below. But no matter what you do, call your freaking hits.